Another thing we often need is to make certain that certain resources are there, resources in the form of JavaScript or CSS, uh, that we can uh, include, and usually we just want to include once. Um, of course, we could just mailman them, but then we might get multiple copies. So uh, there's a separate system uh, that allows us to define resources and then, um, and then say that we require the resource. Here's a handler that, uh, that needs uh, the special style.css and, um, and this could even be down in some inclusion that, oh, uh, now I all of a sudden need the, the, um, the special styles that go with this widget. Um, and uh, we can include uh, special style.css. Um, and now um, uh, that will be served from files. Well, that would be fine, except we know that special styles.css uh, requires another file called gradstyle.css. So it's going to include that. Uh, so resource files can be very smart uh, about, about uh, what it requires. Uh, and may, and uh, this could be transitive. Um, you, you could, uh, uh, furthermore, uh, it knows at least about CSS and JavaScript. Uh, so if you say you're going to uh, require this, it's going to put the appropriate meta relation equals style sheet uh, meta tag in the head. Um, so that neatly patches up things. One other thing we're going to need is sessions. We need to have some way of associating some data with a specific session, generating the appropriate session keys, and so on. And um, to get sessions, basically all we have to do is use module HTTP session. Uh, you know this... Uh, um, And here uh, I have a handler called affirming, and the game here is that we're going to uh, uh, give the person a, a, an affirming name, and uh, uh, then we'll remember and always call them by that. So um, I will select a name for them, um, which if we have it in the session data, will just be their nickname. And if not, then we will pick a random one from the list and we will assert that. And then uh, we just reply with a uh, simple web page uh, that uh, uh, that includes uh, the name. But if you repeatedly reload this page, then um, you will always see the same name. I hope you found this uh, little series of videos useful and uh, love to see what you make in Sweet Prologue's web framework. Bye-bye.